Hello world. Today we'll be setting up our Motion iOS camera on a Raspberry Pi Zero W and implementing some recommendations from Reddit on how to improve my nighttime detection. First, welcome to the 118th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. This is the 8th video in my Open Hab home automation playlist. And in the previous video, we set up our camera here in my future backyard garden, and we were able to detect the motion of a maniacal and greedy rabbit played by a stuffed squirrel toy during the day, but couldn't detect it at night. So I bought this infrared flood light that we'll be using to brighten up the image as recommended in the Reddit comment. Let's make some of these changes and check it out. Boom, there it is. Okay, so here we are at night with our motion eye infrared camera without the floodlight. The Raspberry Pi Zero gets awful frames per second, but should be fine for this small project. Now, let's see if we can detect our stupid rabbit. Okay, here we are with the Squirtle stuffed toy, and you can see that the red frame around it uh, indicates there's a motion detection event. And now we can go to the uh, Open Movies browser and check out to see what the video looks like. And so you, know, you can play it in the browser or you can download it to your computer. And when we go to open it, you can see the video. So you can barely see me. I have some reflective gear and uh, you can see me being silly with the imitation of uh, a future rabbit. All right, so let's check out this Reddit comment from Reluctant Apple. So he says, likely your video won't play without downloading because you have the video quality set very high. And so let's go into the camera settings and check this out. So the first one he mentions is the streaming quality. So he says, bring it below 75%. And so, you know, I'll leave it on about 65% and apply it here. Okay. And then let's check out the other comment. So to get rid of that purple haze um, and go to video device, maybe washed out. So I'm going to uh, skip this right now and then, um, you know, try to go in here. And we're kind of already uh, an MMAL camera. And so, you know, I think, think I'm going to skip this step right here. The next one is that we're going to skip this one, but you need much more powerful IR lights, and we'll do that in a second. Next is the frame threshold needs to be at 1% to 2%, 2 and the frame changes need to be on. So let's go to do that. So we're going to go down to the motion detection. Then we're going to show the frame changes, which will show like a um, red box around us when we go back out there and do some uh, detection. Okay. And then uh, I think he said, yep, yeah, with the frame changes set to on, Yep, set to capture 10 to 20 frames per second. So, um, yep, just checking it one more time. So we'll go capture 10, captured after 10, uh, and then change that to 1.5%. That should be fine. Okay, press apply. There we go, and we see a red border. Um, don't know why that's in uh, motion detection, but let's uh, delete these videos while we were working on it. Okay, yep. All right, and then if you give it a second, it will go back to a, um, you know, a, st a default setting where it's not showing it in, uh, not showing a motion detection event. Okay, so there we go. 
Now, this one says you need a much more powerful IR lights for this to work well outside. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to install or turn on, I should say, my uh, infrared floodlight. Okay, here we go. So this is the um, infrared floodlight turned on and it did cause a motion detection event. So let's clear that out real quick. So let's delete that. All right, so, and now let's wait until there is not a motion detection event. There it goes. And now we will go out and see if we can detect it again with the much brighter floodlight turned on. All right, there's the Squirtle. And there is the frame change right there detecting me. That's me. Much brighter now. You know, it's pretty close to daylight except Squirtle is whitewashed out. But that's pretty good. That's definitely what I'm looking for for my surveillance system uh, so I can detect if it's a rabbit or not. And so that works perfectly. And now we can check out the movie's browser. Download the video to our computer. Okay, so this is the video. Same thing. There's me. So it's detecting me mainly, probably because I'm the biggest thing, but once I leave, uh, it detected the Squirtle. All right, so let's exit out of that. Let's delete that. All right, so that's pretty much it. Um, we made the settings, we added the infrared light, and now we're getting better motion detection. I'm going to turn off the show frame changes because that's not what I want. So I really appreciate your help, Reluctant Apple. And, uh, you know, this is definitely what I want to do. So in the next video, you'll probably see uh, me installing this once I get the backyard garden. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you want to continue seeing me building this uh, home assistant. Uh, home automation and surveillance system. And thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.